Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to upload a recorded voice into Firebase Storage. I have created this Flutter application over here. This application will show you a record button in, on the first run. Once you click on record button, it will start recording your voice. After recording your voice, if you click on that record button and once again, it, you, it will show three buttons. One for re-record, one for playing the audio that you have just recorded and another for uploading into the Firebase. If you click on re-record, then it will again show the record button. If you click on play button, it will play the record that you have just recorded. And if you click on upload button, then it will upload into the Firebase. Once you click on upload button, it will show a linear progress indicator. And once it completes, file that you have just uploaded into Firebase will be displayed onto the top section of your application. Onto the same list, it will have a play button over there. If you click on play button, it will play the audio from the Firebase storage. Let's begin. Cue the intro. Let's check out dependency. These are the four dependencies you need to add. Firebase Core, Firebase Storage, Flutter Audio Recorder and Path Provider. Let's go to main.dot. Uh, we need to write, uh, we need to make our void main async. Then Flutter widget binding dot ensure initialize. Then await for Firebase to initialize. Into our my app, it's a material app that returns a home view. If you go on home view, it's a stateful widget. On its state, it has a variable called references. This holds a list of reference that you will be receiving from your Firebase storage. In its state, I have called on upload complete because the on upload complete button will reference a Firebase storage and list the all, list the all available files inside the upload voice firebase folder once it lists those items it will update the references these references are sent to the our cloud record list view let's uh, before that let's go to our record button features if you go into this class it's again a stateful widget on its state it has four properties another two for audio recorder and the file path one more for recording audio so initially i have set everything to false and create a new audio player over here if you check on the center button i have used the is recorded field over here if it's recorded then what does this mean is if you have at least one recording available then it will show the upload buttons playback buttons otherwise it will not show again inside it i have checked for is uploading when you are shown with the upload button you might have clicked that button when you click that button i want to i'm going to be setting is uploading to true so that you could see a column that on its children it has linear progress indicator and a text saying uploading to firebase otherwise you will be shown the three buttons over here one for the record one for the audio playback where it will show pause and play arrows depending on whether you are playing the audio or not and on its press it will call on play button press and similarly on upload file it again calls the on file upload button press if there is no recording available then it will show you the recording button Again, it's method record button press. Let's check the on record button press first. So when user clicks on record button, it will initially check for is recording or not. If it's recording, it will stop. Otherwise, it will start recording. As you can see over here. If you check on our start recording, which is over here, it will check for permissions. Then it will get documents, application document directory, create a new file into that documents directory then it will uh, call the Flutter audio recorder give it a file path and give it an audio format and it will initialize the audio recorder and start the recorder and update the file path and we are calling set set so that new fields get updated otherwise if it doesn't have permission then we will show a snack back to the user saying that no recording permission has been set okay once the recording is complete we are going to be showing this re-record button if you check on re-record button, what it does is it, it only set it is, is recorded to false. It will say there is no recording available so that you could see the record button once again. If you go back and check on, on play button, once you have something that you have recorded, then it will check user might click on play button, which will check for is playing or not. If it's not playing, it will set is playing to true and it will call the audio player to play the file path that you have just created when you click on record button and it will listen to the completion event it will set is playing to false so the user can see the pause icon change to play icon similarly if it's playing then it will pause the player now the third 
button that is on upload how do we upload into firebase this is one of the most important concept of this video so if you check over here it will first get the firebase storage instance then it will set is uploading to true so that user, user could see the linear progress indicator and user will not be able to click any other buttons we will await for firebase storage to get reference to upload voice firebase okay this is the folder we, we're gonna be putting our files in then we're gonna create a child which will be the file name so how do we get file name we'll get file name from uh, using our file path we will substring it using the substring function we'll go to the last index of slash that means the slash just before the file name and go till the end of the file in that way we have created a file path over here and we have put use the method called put file once you have put file is complete since it's await then it will wait for this function to finish then it will call the on upload complete on upload complete is in the home view and it will again fetch the list of available data in the firebase and show into the top section of this application in that way you have actually completed the upload functionality now uh, if you want to go back and see how to play the audios that are available in your firebase storage then we're going to be going into the cloud list functionality that is in home view using this on upload functionality it has updated the list of references and list of references are sent to cloud record list view if you go into cloud records list view it's again a stateful widget and in its state we could say that we are checking for each player and we need audio player since we're going to be needing to how to play right we have a selected index because in each uh, list style there is a play button so i should know which play button has been pressed initially i have set it to minus one so that none of the item is selected and is playing to false and created a new audio player if you check on our list view builder the item count will be the length of references that is passed to this class and i have set to reverse so that new items is added onto the bottom section of the list in item builder we can see that we are creating a list tag and the title will be the references name we can access it by widget references dot element at index dot name on its trailing section it has an icon button if the particular item is selected that means in this list style we have only one button that is play button right so i've used this selected index to indicate which play button to convert to pause that's why we have used selected index so the current index equals to the selected index that means this the play button you have tapped on the selected index then it will change to pause otherwise it will be play on press i'm sending the selected index then going to this method called on list style button press okay this is a future void method async i've changed the selected index to current current index then i've called audio player to play and wait for widget dot references dot element at index dot get download url so it will get the downloaded url and i've changed to is local to false so that our audio player will be able to know what we are playing is not available in the local similarly if the playing has uh, been finished then i'm going to be changing the selected interest to minus one so that that pause icon can be changed back to play icon that's it thank you so much for watching uh this is the short video for you guys uh, since you have requested it uh if you have any other question please comment down below uh consider subscribing to, to my channel and if you find this video helpful then give it a like and also check out my github profile uh, give it a start to this project thank you so much for watching see you guys next time